much so in this video we will learn how you can use the button component provided by react native elements the button component provided by react native uh, doesn't provide uh, that much flexibility we cannot even apply style properties to it we need to uh, enclose that component into view component or we have to create a custom component to apply styling to uh, create a style button component and react native elements uh, provide us with button component that have much more flexibility uh, we can provide style styling to its container its title etc so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code i already opened the ios simulator if you are running this on a windows machine you can also use the android emulator react native element works fine with both the platforms so first of all you need to uh, install the react native elements in your project so i already shown uh, how to do that uh, in my earlier videos so go check that out then after installing it we need to import button from react native elements if you have imported button from the react native so you need to delete that so first of all let us create a simple button let's provide title Let's say solid button. We can create three types of button. The first one is solid, the second one is clear, and the third one is outline. Clear will be same as the button component provided by React Native. Now let me type in solid. Let me just save this. As you can see, this type of button that we get from React Native Elements. If uh, I just remove this and instead of importing it from the import React Native Elements, let us import from the React Native and let me just save this. As you can see, this type of button that we get from the React Native. So the React Native elements provide much better flexibility when it com comes to button. You can change the background color uh, with the container style and if you want to uh, change the color or this uh, or apply styling to its title then you need to write title style if you want to change the color let's say yellow as you can see this is how you can change the colors you can increase the font size as you can see Now if I provide type is equal to outline as you can see this is the outline button if you want to change the background color container style background color let's say yellow this is how you can do it you can also change the title color title style sorry let's say red this is how we can do it 
you can also apply border color border width border radius etc there is one uh, props that uh, that is called raised it provides some kind of aesthetics to your button let me change back to its solid and let me write raised and let me just save this as you can see it slightly changes the aesthetic it provides some kind of uh, shadows all around it now the uh, interesting part is that you can also provide the icons in the button that's why i import the icon from react native vector icons slash font awesome you can search for the react native vector icons and you can find um, multiple icons over there let me just create a button with an icon okay so icon name of the icon will be arrow right then we need to provide a size let's say 14 color let's say white let me just save this so these are how you can provide the button you can see it, it by default it has the touchable opacity attached to it so this is how you can create a button also with the icon you can also provide title to it click this is how it will look now you can also provide um, uh, loading uh, props to the button let's say loading when I provide loading as you can see you can uh, uh, assign proper you can assign values like false and you can change these values uh, using a state and make make the button dynamic so if the process is going on you can turn it to true and the, when the process is over and the result is ready to show the user then you can turn it on, on again so basically the the these how much flexibility react native elements button providers so let us just create a small example let me import text input is already imported so text input let's provide placeholder placeholder will be enter your name value will be will be creating value will be creating a state for it name and on change text whichever the text we are getting we will be setting this into set names let us create the state By default it will be an empty string okay so this is our text input now let us create a button the button will be imported from react native elements and not from the react native title will be submit and type let's say solid
container style we can provide margin top let's say 10 let make it to 20 okay so on press we will be uh, creating an alert the title will be welcome hello then the user welcome to our app let me just save this now if i write my name over here and then submit it hello bridge and welcome to our app we can also provide these on on invoking on submit editing we can provide the same over here let me just save this if i press return you can see it works perfectly fine so on press event is the same uh, with the button as we have uh, created in the past with the react native but this react native elements button provides us much more flexibility it provides us container style title style so we do not need to wrap this into a view or any other component to provide styling to it so we can also provide icons so that's it for this video thanks for watching it